Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so in this video, we're going to do four different Cinebench Release 20 benchmarks featuring the i7-10700K that I just got. Uh, we are using a video capture card, so I'm going to actually record the whole benchmark, uh, not to make this video longer, but uh, just so you see it's actually being done. And uh, real quick, talk about the computer. So on a ASRock Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard, we've got... Uh, the i7-10700K being cooled by a Skype Ninja 5. Um, I don't think the graphics card matters in this case, but it's a uh, Gigabyte RTX 2070 Super. And we have a couple of different uh, NVMe M.2s on it. All right, so that's the equipment we're working with. And you can see uh, upper left here some of the information that's associated with it. Of course, we got Windows 10 and the processor itself, okay? So I'm going to hit run here so we can get the first one going. And I'll tell you, the first one is basically defaults. Uh, when I say defaults, let's pop over to this. Basically, uh, PL1, PL2 are set to default 125 and 229. And the core multipliers are all uh, defaulted. So that is one of the benches we're going to do. Now, after this is done, I'm going to set it to uh, power... Uh, PL1, PL2 to unlimited. We'll run the benchmark again, see what that gives you. And I will tell you, um, even though I have 850 watt power supply um, here in Hawaii, and I forgot the second rail back there in uh, Virginia, so we can't do the extreme overclocking and really uh, needle this thing. Uh, so that that score may be a little lower than it that it could be. Now. Uh, We'll take the PL1, PL2, set them back to default, and then I'm going to give this a uh, slight overclock. We'll go uh, 51 multiplier all the way across, run the benchmark. You'll see uh, that score. And then at the end, so the fourth benchmark will be PL1, PL2 unlimited, and the slight overclock. And uh, by then, you know, you should see four different um, benchmarks. All right, so we just ran this, and... The uh, light orange, not the burnt orange, uh, light orange is what it actually was. So 4817 is the score. And I'm not going to be able to remember this, folks. So let's, uh, let's use Notepad. What the heck? Hopefully it won't bother the, uh, the benchmark. So default was 4817. And it's sad that I, uh, I go this route, but hey. All right, so... As I promised you, unlimited power. Not totally, but uh, so this is PL1. You may have seen my video. PL2 automatically adjusts once you set it to unlimited. But you've got to hit apply. All right. There's also a benchmark in here, by the way. Uh, I may do a separate video if anybody cares. Let's hit run again. And I have no doubt that we will see a higher score here. Um, the i7-10700 did. Now the, uh, the question is how much more? And I will tell you, uh, if you guys use userbenchmark.com, uh, a lot of people don't like them. And I'm sure some of you, uh, that may listen to this will probably be in that club. But, uh, it is really actually neat to me to see, uh, this done because... You know, this is just giving you some score uh, where that actually breaks down, uh, breaks down a little more, and you really see uh, the differences there. But uh, that's just my thoughts. So this one's almost done. And 47.72. Interesting, folks. So it actually went down. Um, and I would imagine that uh, it throttled somewhere in there. So let's see if it throttled. Power limit throttling? No. Thermal throttling? No. Um, I'm actually amazed that, uh, 
we didn't get a higher score. Temperatures are fine. Wattage, so look at that, 154, 148. So I'm, I'm honestly surprised it didn't hit the power limit. All right, so we're going to set these back to default. And I have to look at this again, 125. You'd think I would know that by now. So this is uh, CPU number 7 for me of the 10th gen. And obviously the best one so far. And it will definitely, it's a shame I didn't get it sooner, but uh, this one I definitely will have a little more fun with, I believe, is uh, the other i7 is going to go into the wife's uh, future computer. Not that she really needs that much power, but hey. All right, so there's that. We set that to default. Now, let's come over here to our uh, multipliers. We're going to do a, a basic uh, overclock. I'm going to set all these to 51. And I think actually if I do this one, yeah, there you go. That's quicker. Apply. And let's go back. So this should be uh, the highest we've had so far. And hopefully you can hear me. They, it never fails when I make a video here in the studio. Um, the air conditioner comes on. Part of me wants to, you know, go shut it off, but it actually uh, keeps it nice and cool in here. So if I redo any of these, it would probably be that the second run that I did. I'm really surprised that the, the low number there. And we're almost done. Boom. So 5130, just by doing a slight overclock, right? Now, now all the fun. So, um, let's see what our temp's at. Now we're, we're back to a uh, relatively cool temp. Let's go ahead and uh, power unlimited. I almost feel like we need to give this a, a moment to, you know, cool down a little bit more even. Or maybe we're not back to... Okay, it's almost like something else is going on in the background. But CPU utilization is low. Oh, now it's at 6. Alright, so we're in the back in the 30s. Let's, uh, let's run this. And who's betting we're going to beat 5130? Anybody? I got any takers? I'm, I'm expecting us to beat it. And obviously you can see on the screen why I expected to beat it, but... I don't want to ruin that surprise. All right, hit and run. So I had I had thought of getting the i9 9900F, or excuse me, the i9 10900F. It was available on Amazon very short period of time, same price as this. Um, you know, certain things that processor would would beat this one, but. I'm not, you know, totally sure that this was not the better route to go. Okay, so slight increase. Now, I will say the 5205 that's above it is the best score that I had doing this. And uh, I did run that on a, a relatively 
cooler computer, so hence why it might have uh, might have done better. But 51.59 is uh, the score there. Now, um, let me go ahead and put that down so you guys see that. So we had uh, unlimited and the overclock got us 51.59. And the only one that didn't work so hot was the uh, the original PL1, PL2, which tempted to run it again. Now, obviously, uh, it'd be better to you know do three runs each and, and average that out. But here's what you got. Now let's go back here to Cinebench and see, or not Cinebench, Intel's Extreme Utility, and see if we had any power limiting throttle, thermal, nothing. So there's no reason really for uh, uh, not to get the higher score, except maybe the CPU temperature um, got a little high, but I don't know. Look at that, though, 214 watts. Um... So I can only imagine what this would be if I had the uh, second rail on my 850-watt uh, power supply. It's the EVGA 850BQ. If anybody's out there and you're watching this and you've actually run this um, and you have the second rail and you're basically doing extreme overclocking, you tell me what your, your max wattage gets to. I'm just curious if, if there is anybody that's actually watching this video that's late into it. But, hey, thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate everybody. Uh, you guys uh, are the reason I keep doing this, and uh, one day, you know, maybe we'll uh, we'll make this channel a little more successful than it is, but uh, so far, I am happy with the progress, so please like, please subscribe. Thank you.